Hello, my name is Behrukh Behrawan. Today I'm going to present my PhD thesis uh, titled Development of Metamaterial Based Optical and Trohars Detector Arrays. Uh, our problem formulation here is uh, create uh, an study distributed structure uh, metamaterial. They are 1D and 2D metamaterial, and we can confine electrodynamic properties of this uh, structure. And they are for lowest mode uh, full quad unit cell. Uh, um, they are like homogeneous uh, material. We mm, select a distributed absorber uh, because they are easy to integrate with optics. Uh, a large aperture can be filled with detector, increased dynamic range, and multi octave bandwidth. Uh, we are going to talk about our aims and objectiveness and sinus junction, metamaterial based array of cold electron bolometer, composite right left hand transmission line uh, with array of thermocore for generating towards radiation, local field enhancement on boundary state of plasmonic crystal and graphene based opti uh, plasmonic absorber and conclusion. Uh, our goal here is to design arrays of planar antennas with integrated sinus bolometer for radio astronomy research, development of an integrated thermocops uh, circuit uh, for trials radiation increasing the Raman scattering cross-section using edge effect in a photonic crystal and design two to enable plasmonic absorber this layer of graphene with one and two resonators. Uh, as we know, the heart of cold electron bolometers, uh, it's uh, NIS and sinus junctions. Uh, NIS junction, as we know, is a uh, connection of normal metal isolator superconductor, and by um, uh, applying a uh, volt DC voltage, uh, uh, we uh, we have a, uh, the, the Fermi level of normal metal will be above uh, the Fermi level level of superconductor, and uh, by moving electron through isolator from normal metal to superconductor, uh, we have the tunneling person, uh, process, and we have controlled the uh, um, current by number of the electron. But but in fact, we use uh, two process of. Uh, tunneling and uh, these two pillows support we have these two process by connection of two superconductor and is later and uh, normal metal normal metal here is uh, our antenna which in this uh, slide we show uh, our first design here this is uh, a pattern of frequency selective surface uh, this is a split ring which uh, uh, mm, the, mm, uh, which the cold electron bolometer are integrated into the split ring. Uh, we can see it by uh, here by the blue mm, arrows. And uh, the DC wire here, they are installed on one direction. The radiation comes from the soft ray side. And uh, if we have no any um, cavity and uh, no, uh, we have open boundary on vacuum side, uh, as you see here in the middle, the lump elements equivalent schematic uh, can, can be like that. The vacuum, uh, emptiness of vacuum and emptiness of uh, uh, soft ray, they are characteristic impedances. But the frequency selective surface can uh, be measured. And as you can see, the p power of absorption on the, this curve uh, as a function of frequency selective surface impedances, the maximum uh, absorption uh, is about at uh, 80 ohm for uh, impedance of select frequency selective surface. Let's see and analyze uh, the modes for this uh, structure. As we can see from the left side, this is the uh, fu uh, function of uh, frequency selective surface impedances as a frequency. And uh, in this function from mode uh, one, as you see here, uh, at the target frequency, uh, 350 gigahertz uh, for, mod, uh, for mode one, which is on, uh, in y direction, uh, the value will be zero. It means that the capacitance from agents and uh, unit cell will be removed and tuned out. Uh, but for mode two, because there is no any uh, DC wire or a biasing wire, uh, we have a, a big capacitance uh, uh, for the. Also, we tested the angle of radiation, as as we can see in the for two modes, for mode one from uh, zero to forty degrees, and for mode two from zero to seventy de degrees, we have a smooth and uh, maximum absorption. Uh, it means that we can use it uh, in back-to-back -back horn uh, waveguide. Uh, 
let's see uh, uh, experimental pictures. This is the first one. Uh, left side is a schematic of uh, the experimental setup. This is backward wave oscillator number one. Uh, and as you see, uh, we have environment on cryostat and uh, the readout system and LNA. Uh, this is the picture of sample holder, which uh, we put our photocons selective surface on it. This is three uh, silicon lenses, and uh, uh, at the right side, in the, on the right side, you can see the optical image of the RI, which is uh, fabricated. Uh, this is the measurement, the experimentally measured, which reported to us. Uh, the first one here, uh, this is experimentally measure the spectral response of sinus polymer array of uh, as a function of frequency. It's not smooth because uh, because of superior uh, waves and also a lot of moles in black body. But uh, we got the uh, uh, result at the over target frequency. The medial this is the uh, response as a function of uh, uh, temperature of black body and uh, DC voltage. As we can see by uh, increasing the temperature of black body uh, from the negative. By, by, uh, with the negative uh, value of DC voltage, uh, the, uh, it will be increased uh, and uh, it's inverse for a positive uh, value of uh, voltage, it uh, will in, uh, decrease. Uh, uh, and also we can see at the right side voltage characteristic and differential resistance of RI. Uh, and uh, the maximum differential resistance which measured is uh, around five Mega ohm. In order to uh, more effect, uh, make more effective this uh, structure for uh, the uh, the mode X mode, we try to install DC wire on the X direction. As you can see for figure A, we put uh, the DC wire on X direction, but it's uh, we put it on the dioxide silicon layer. It helps us also increase a little uh, a bit more for power absorption and increase the bandwidth of power absorption. But for the figure B, we use two bolometer. Uh, this, all of them, until now, they are lambda tens uh, unit cell. And uh, we put the same DC wire on X and Y uh, direction. And let's see what will happen and, uh, for the result for both mode. From this simple two equation, we measured uh, power absorption of, uh, arbitrary A and B. This is for figure number A. This difference and the shift for absorption for both modes, this is for the dioxide silicon that we have uh, under the uh, horizontal wire. Uh, uh, horizontal wire and uh, arbitrary absorption show us the maximum absorption from around 100 to 1 uh, uh, absorption bandwidth. And uh, for the second one picture, as you see for, from figure C and figure D, we have separately for mode one, mode two, the same absorption. And uh, the arbitrary absorption is also the same because uh, we can see it's symmetric. Um, this is the f uh, our final work on cold electron bolometer. We try to optimize the long to half for all input balloon born telescopes. And uh, if our first step was here to optimize the noise equivalent power by removing the instant, this shadow picture, as you see here, by uh, removing the ROMs, uh, these ROMs, uh, we, um, we increase the responsivity. And uh, as we see here, four times noise equivalent power optimized, which uh, now is uh, less than four photon NEP. And uh, it, uh, it, it, it was the first step that we done. But again, we uh, before it's, it was only uh, uh, before it was only five to ten percent absorption the bandwidth. We are going to increase it more than this in order to use the OLMP emission requirements. Uh, here we, again, we remove uh, uh, two strip of each uh, unit cell in order to increase the bandwidth, and uh, we put the direction of the strips on direction on uh, X mode and Y mode. This is uh, asymmetric and lambda half at again target frequency 350 gigahertz. Now let's see here, this is the schematic of our design. Uh, here we have a back short on boundary X uh, from vacuum side and uh, from the substrate side, that, uh, the radiation, radiation coming from the substrate side. Uh, vacuum side is uh, shorted, and uh, if we um, uh, say that it's like a transmission line, this schematic, and from the substrate side, we have a series of vacuum impedance with the transmission line of substrate here. Uh, uh, but uh, as we know from transmission line theory, because uh, from the vacuum side is shorted, so the ba uh, back short impedance is only imaginary, but substrate has imaginary and um, real and imaginary components. 
the figure here show, gave us the information that it's uh, show us really is important for etching fabrication uh, at target frequency because uh, uh, imaginary puff of substrate can affect it on the result of uh, a structure. Let's see what will happen for modes. Uh, first here we calculated the frequency selective surface uh, for, diff uh, for two modes, imaginary and real part. Uh, at the target frequency, uh, approximately, we have uh, the smooth results, but uh, the difference between the pictures is that because they are not symmetric. But uh, the good news was that in the middle, as you see, at the f uh, our target bandwidth, we have the same uh, absorption. And uh, uh, of course, it's not the sh uh, design is not uh, symmetric, but the reason for this bandwidth is symmetric. Also, we increase the bandwidth uh, for different modes. If you see the pictures uh, for mode one, uh, uh, from uh, we have around 91 gigahertz bandwidth. Uh, and uh, the final picture, again, you see here, this is the requirement of Olympo Ballon, which uh, we can see we have minimum uh, uh, value for mode contrast for both modes and uh, maximum uh, value for uh, power absorption as a function of incident angle for both modes, which uh, give us good, um, good, re good results for uh, uh, the Olympia requirement, uh, which uh, we have here. Uh, the next uh, the structure that we done here, uh, it's a hybrid transmission line, uh, and it's a new thermoelectric uh, structure. Uh, we test this concept, um, and we uh, install and uh, numerical analyzed uh, this on a hybrid transmission line, which is called composite right left hand transmission line. Um, uh, and we uh, try here to measure first the uh, long network elements, as you he uh, see here. The left uh, inductive is removed because we have the same uh, magnetic field along the uh, uh, strips. Uh, for, uh, for that, this value it was uh, zero, and we remove it. From this uh, um, equivalent, uh, lump equivalent uh, elements, we measured uh, theoretically and also directly by time domain CSC, we measured the K vectors. And uh, um, it shows us uh, an almost disperse, uh, dispersion uh, curves, uh, which uh, we have here on picture C, uh, less than 25 gigahertz. The S, it means uh, phase velocity is higher than the light. But again, we test it by eigen mode, and we uh, receive the same, we uh, catch the same, um, uh, we caught the same uh, results uh, uh, for phase, phase velocity, and we, we, as we can see, the phase velocity is higher than the light. Uh, the uh, normalized electric field distribution of eigen most solar unit cell is here, and uh, theoretically we calculate uh, the power of this uh, structure, uh, which uh, show us uh, how much power we can uh, generate by uh, femtosecond or sub femtosecond later parcels. The another design that we done, it was for local fit enhancement on boundary state. This is our right of, uh, based on, uh, it's four layer bond material based on topological photonic state. And uh, by edge mode plasmonic, we try to design uh, a gap and we, by making a defect on this structure, as you see here, for S and P polarization is tested. We, uh, our unit cell here is, is uh, honeycomb by black dash line. The blue dash line is unit cell which we test on uh, by uh, CSC software. The, as you see on the picture here, uh, this picture show us we uh, were success, so we succeeded to direct the E field on the uh, bond, uh, boundary gap between two. A structure, and uh, we have here approximately 12 uh, enhancement factor. Uh, this ABC picture show us how we uh, adjust the unit cell for green laser by stars, as you see, and uh, also we tested by a finite RI boundary to measure the field enhancement uh, for each uh, location uh, that we want to uh, receive the uh, in, uh, electric field, local electric field. And uh, here for array, I, I measured uh, up to 11, as you see in the picture, the probe is on the boundary and it shows that the maximum enhancement uh, is uh, between the cylinder. This is this result show us the uh, two polarization and uh, it means that uh, for, for this two polarization we can by changing the k vector angle we can switch to, 
to the other uh, wavelengths in, uh, from visible uh, visible re region uh, uh, frequency. Uh, this is the another design that you see. This is a um, graphon. Uh, uh, this is a graphon. Uh, Base plasmonic absorber. Here we make a here we make a structure and the grooves shape into this structure is ellipti uh, elliptical and this elliptical help us to we uh, by by uh, turning the structure or rotate the structure until 45 degree we get uh, uh, two peaks which uh, it help us to use it uh, for Faraday rotator or a rotator service, uh, sensor. By add a layer of growth on, on this picture, you can see we increase the absorption of this uh, structure from around 35% to 50% for both peaks. But the good news was that here, uh, each uh, peaks can be separately uh, tunable. As you see, when the uh, peak one is fixed, the second peak uh, can be tunable. And uh, the, uh, uh, the same for the... Uh, another peak uh, and this uh, tun tunability uh, this tunability is uh, for uh, uh, um, uh, uh, chemical photon based on chemical potential uh, for growth fund uh, which we can by applying uh, the, uh, external voltage we can tune it uh, we did this uh, the same result for the structure like this with two different resonator and uh, we uh, received the results for both speak from 80% to 100%. Uh, also, uh, we show that, that uh, we can uh, separate, uh, separately control two peaks, uh, but it's from around 80 to 98% um, uh, of absorption. It's uh, very good because it's uh, tunable and it's, uh, uh, each peak separately can be tunable like uh, the previous design. Uh, here we show and design also a wideband uh, 2D periodic cold electron bolometer with side wavelength size unit cell and here we show that we can absorb uh, more than 70% of incidental power uh, from 200 to 1 trohas. We show a hybrid transmission line with analogous dispersion hyper uh, phase uh, velocity and uh, uh, this, with this theory we can generate uh, uh, trohas pulses. Uh, with uh, voltage response on the sub picosecond time scale by illumination of uh, the laser light, and uh, at the second uh, structure, we, on the second uh, structure, we show that up to 11 or 12 enhancement local field can be discovered uh, based on this four layer and uh, topological uh, symmetry, and it's useful for Raman spectroscopy and, and it's increasing partial factor quantum. At the end, we show one and two resonator, uh, two neighbor resonator uh, and absorber, which uh, they are, you can say they are modulator. Uh, one of them from 1,500 nanometer and 1,007 nanometer uh, can be tuned from 20% to 90% by rotation and 30% uh, to 50% by applying gate voltage. And for the another structure from 1,100 nanometer and 1,000 uh, uh, 700 nanometer, uh, it can be tunable uh, from 80% to 97%. Thank you for your attention. So, could we uh, say some thoughts about the hook before question? Mm -hmm. So, in 2013, Islamic Asset University. Faculty of Electrical Electronics Engineering Department of Electronics awarded Bihrok Byron Wendt, that's okay, uh, uh, the master degree in the field of electric engineering electronics. From 2016 to 2020, Bihrok is studying on full-time postgraduate program at our institute. During the preparation of thesis from this year's the applicant Bihrok was worked at the Department of Vacuum Electronics of Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. As a researcher, as simultaneously from 19 to 20 as an assistant. Certificate for being postgraduate student at Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology and passing candidate exams in the direction 
030601 physics and astronomy scientific specialty 010404 physical electrons is issued at 2020 by Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. I should say additionally that all necessary documents uh, for defense the PhD thesis are present and uh, we'll uh, discuss it later. So uh, let us go to questions. Uh, somebody questions? Questions, please. Can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Rog, can you switch to the slide where you discussed uh, CDs barometers? Actually, I don't see the screen. Is it possible to show it? No, I can see it. Is it possible to show the presentation? We can see it. It's on the main screen. We see the presentation. Okay. Uh, well, uh, first comment is about uh, the title. Uh, you write the metamaterial based array of. Well, well, no. No, oh, the slide uh, the, uh, which was just right here about sinus barometer. Oh, the, yes, yes, this one. Mm -hmm. Well, the first comment is about uh, the title. <coughs> Here you write metamaterial based array of cold electron and then in the brackets sinus barometers. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the question is, what is metamaterial based array of cold electron? Yes. Why you, you put bracket, brackets on sinus barometers? Uh, as I said, for, uh, this is for a constant selective surface design, and it has uh, two layers. Uh, first, this is for a constant selective surface. It, mean, uh, it means that it's metamaterial, it's 2D metamaterial. And the cold electron barometer uh, here uh, integrated into it, and also the metal here is. Uh, uh, our antenna gold that you can see uh, with a gold color here. And the cold electron volumeter, as I said, is uh, numerically here is simulated by uh, blue arrows. Okay, so we have a metamaterial, 2D metamaterial, which work based uh, on this cold electron volumeter because antenna here work as, as a n uh, normal matter for our volumeter. We, for that, it's uh, a metamaterial based on cold electron volumeter work. For that, uh, we cannot uh, remove the, the one title from the matter material or one title from the code electron barometer. We want to say uh, this matter material based on, uh, for, for what we design is this detector. And uh, this is the, type, the best title that I, we found for this structure. So do you need brackets in the title at all? Do break it? Yes. Brackets. No, no. Okay. Well, and uh, next question is uh, that uh, you said that uh, the bandwidth was increased, as I understand, oh. uh, uh, in this metamaterial based uh, cold electron barometers. Uh -huh. And I guess uh, that you tried to fit the requirement of some practical device. So can I ask what was this device and uh, is this bandwidth is enough? Uh, and suitable for operation of this device. Oh, okay. Um, we increase the bandwidth of motor material. You know, when we uh, decrease the size of each uh, unit cell for sub wavelength uh, uh, size unit cell, for example, uh, we, you know, we increase the bandwidth. And uh, before this design, all, uh, on Chalmers University, they are designed uh, uh, mm, for around 5% to 10% absorption. Uh, the OLMPU experimental, which is reported to us, 
uh, it's, uh, they, uh, they ask us, we design the unicell, a numerical simulator, the uh, unicell, which uh, more than 10 percent. More than 10 percent, as I know, is good for Olympo, uh, Olympo missions. But for another uh, ball on, uh, ball on, uh, ball on telescope, uh, as I know, as I know, it's maybe more than 2% is enough, which also we, uh, for lambda half, we optimize uh, a lambda half unit cell for that. And based uh, on requirements that they ask us for experimental, we design this uh, structure. Uh, so uh, because it's fabricated, it means the people who experimental want to work by it, it's, uh, it means that it's enough for this experimental uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Any question? Questions now? Thank you. Uh, uh, verse of science is Uh, okay, uh, so Bichroch uh, Berenwand uh, uh, joined uh, a family of uh, uh, projects uh, that are uh, focused on uh, detec detection of uh, terahertz and uh, optical radiation. And uh, this project uh, seem to be different, different but uh, in reality they are uh, um, more or less uh, the same because uh, they are related to uh, artificial to cre creation of artificial materials that uh, match the electrodynamic uh, requirements. So uh, we, you know, for example, uh, create uh, a thin layer uh, of uh, uh, metamaterial that matches uh, quasi-optical uh, surrounding and uh, uh, provides uh, wide, ba wide bandwidth uh, for uh, absorption of uh, uh, bolometric rays. And uh, also, uh, we, in this way, we uh, increase uh, the dynamic uh, range uh, because uh, the uh, power per one uh, detector uh, reduces, but uh, uh, the response is uh, added up, and uh, mm, it's only uh, two-dimensional arrays that can uh, meet the technical requirements uh, for uh, astronomical uh, missions, uh, where combination of uh, high sensitivity and high dynamic range uh, are requir required. Uh, then, when we uh, go to uh, optical range, uh, then uh, uh, fast response uh, uh, of optical detectors can be used as uh, terahertz source, and uh, Bichroch has developed uh, a new concept uh, of uh, transmission line uh, comprising um, uh, one-dimensional array of uh, uh, thermocouples, uh, and in this transmission line, all the voltage responses, uh, they are added up in phase, and this line can be used as a uh, non-biased source of terahertz radiation for different uh, practical applications, such as uh, uh, security, spectroscopy, and so on. Uh, and uh, uh, Bichroch has uh, got very uh, good experience in uh, practical design 
of uh, electrodynamic dynamic structures. Uh, he is very initiative uh, person. Uh, by his initiative, uh, he developed uh, by self uh, uh, a new concept of uh, plasmonic absorber. Uh, he uh, invented the way how to increase the uh, absorption of uh, uh, optical waves by graphene. So we know that uh, uh, conventional graphene uh, absorbs only a few percent of light, uh, but uh, when this uh, graphene is integrated into the plasmonic structure invented by uh, Bichroch, uh, uh, the absorption can be increased uh, by a factor of 10, and uh, we may have up to 80% absorption. And uh, it's really remarkable that uh, we can tune this absorption electrically by applying the voltage, uh, the gate voltage between the grapheme, graphene and uh, the plasmonic crystal. Uh, and uh, when we go further uh, with the uh, uh, two-dimensional uh, arrays uh, in optical uh, uh, wavelengths, uh, then we uh, can uh, then Bichroch studied uh, edge effects of plasmonic crystals that can, again, enhance locally uh, the uh, electric field of incident radiation. And it's, again, uh, can, uh, a lot of uh, potential practical applications uh, for nonlinear uh, photonic circuits and for Raman spectroscopy. And uh, so during uh, his PhD, uh, research, uh, Bichroch uh, has uh, developed and uh, uh, numerically uh, tested uh, a big number of uh, new electrodynamic structures, both uh, uh, for uh, submillimeter wavelengths and for optical wavelengths. Uh, and uh, some of his structures, uh, uh, such as cold electron bolometers, were uh, tested experimentally. Uh, and uh, these experimental tests confirmed that uh, Bichroch, uh, uh, the, the designs of, the, of uh, Bichroch, they really work. Uh, and also uh, Bichroch uh, developed uh, theory based on um, lumped network elements uh, equivalent diagram. Uh, and uh, I think uh, Bichroch uh, uh, is uh, already a mature uh, researcher. Uh, he is uh, very initiative uh, and uh, he deserves uh, uh, to be uh, PhD. Uh, he deserves the, the degree of PhD in uh, physical electronics and I hope his uh, uh, future career will be related to science and he will uh, apply his knowledge uh, and his uh, 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 ability and his creativity uh, for solving uh, other uh, practical uh, scientific and scientific uh, uh, problems. Yeah, thank you. Question for you. Questions. Okay. Do you have any questions? No, no questions. Something. Yeah, thank you. So, so we have obtained the review of leading organization. Uh, it's a Mokretov Institute of Ultra High Frequency Semiconductor Electronics of Russian Academy of Science. Review of leading organization of PhD thesis of Bechroch Bernavant, development of mathematical based optical and ter terahertz detector arrays submitted for the degree of candidate of technical service, specialty physical electronics. The PhD thesis titled Development of mat some Material-Based Optical and Terahertz Detector Rays, written by Hikrok Bayerwand, is devoted to metamaterial design with uh, different methods of working as detector at specific frequency. For radio astronomy application array, antennas have been designed to propose it for enable the efficiency of the gold, cold 
electron bolometer at different frequency and polarization. The operation of cold electron bolometer devices as a ray structure is a wide band for the range 300 uh, to 450, uh, 450 hz and ultra wide band for the range 200 ones to 1000 gigahertz. A model of dual band called electron bolometer at 210 gigahertz and 240 Yes, and other model working in two modes of polarization are reported. For different modes, wide bandwidth and dual band called electron bolometers paper, such ultra wide band mathematical based array of called electron bolometer, radiation and scattering electronic waves, wide band double polarization array of called electron bolometers for Olympo balloon telescope transaction on enhance and propagation matrix here in Russian matrix planar nek anten s integrirovanjem bolometrom de radio astronomiskih sledovanj zbornik trudov šestoj vse rasijskej mikrovolnovoj konferenciji in dvohčestotne metapovrtnost s integrirovanjem sinis bolometrom zbornik trudov šestoj vse rasijskej mikrovolnovoj konferenciji have, <laughs> and again English, have been extracted from uh, mentioned on thesis. A composite right-left handled transmission line is proposed for generation terahertz radiation using an array of thermocouples with capacitive coupling heated by femtosecond laser pulses. Uh, again Russian, uh, ah, I see it's гибридная линия передач с интегрированной цепочкой термопар для генерации терогерцовые излучения труды МФТИ труды 60 Всероссийской научной конференции МФТИ нет, это я должен зачитать полностью, а вот по остальному Как скажете, вы ведете? Не обязательно. Не обязательно. The, uh, the uh, of the dissertation includes some typos and grammatical errors in the text. In addition, the dissertation does not address the oxidi oxidation issue of uh, AG films which are used uh, as a dual band plasmonic absorber. Despite the fact that these age films are coated with CO2 dielectric, the ages of the films are not passivated, which will lead to the to degradation due oxidation. Uh, as a result of the dissertation are original, new and useful for specialists in the film of optimization and related to problems that are being forked out of Moscow Institute of Physical Technology. So, the very, uh, very short note. And uh, two reviews on dissertation synopsis. I uh, read only uh, shortcoming such a bad formatting of the section title on page five, relatively few photos that are small in size, confusion in number and configures on page 16, of course, are not important case. Uh, it would be better for comprehension if on the figure containing the images of the sample, e.g. figure three, scale balls were provided. That's all. Ну, э, э, теперь отзывы всех, а отвечать на все размещения в конце. Плюс я... Как отзыв? Ревью. Как, короче, ребята, ваш, ваш отзыв. А вот... Э, а. Ваш отзыв. Это заключение, да? Нет, это не заключение. Это это, это, ну, заключение, да. Как члена совета. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, 
let me to announce my conclusion about the contents of dissertation by Bichroch Pirenwart. Uh, relevance of the dissertation topic Bichroch Pirenwart uh, dissertation consists of several new designs and the aim of detection terahertz to optical frequencies. The dissertation includes interesting problems, formulations, and different, applic and different applications. These designs can detect CMB radiations, laser and optical frequencies, plasmonic and thermocouple structures. Uh, scientific novelty of the results are essential by the same points. Theoretical and practical importance of the dissertation are higher and enough to show acceptable and accurate results. I was impressed with the complex high-level designs were performed simultaneously in the dissertation. Uh, the main results of the dissertation are adequately represented in the publications in referred journals according to MIPT regulations. And about my questions and remarks. According to the part 4.13 of the regulations, the candidate addresses the questions and remarks formulated below during the defense. In introduction of bolometers, it can be discussed more about the types of cryogenic detectors and mentioned common and non-common points. Also, a table is briefly described. This question. Uh, of course, this is not a serious opinion and I don't have any additional remarks. Uh, generally, speaking at the about dissertation, the PhD physics consists a lot of new interesting designs and results, so I recommend assigning a PhD degree, which is candidate of technical sciences, physics and physical electronics, to Bichroch Berenwand. Thank you. Agafolov Mezil Igorich. Yes, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I must read or, or not. I must read uh, the response. What must I do? Ah, yes, yes, okay. Uh, the evaluation of the dissertation in accordance with the regulation of the award of scientific degrees of candidates of do and doctors of science and in, in, in um, Moscow Institute in what uh, follows uh, referred as uh, regulations. First, relevance of the dissertation topics. The dissertation includes several mathematical models for optical interagers detection and different frequencies and applications. The analysis are performed mainly by 
CST and the results are evaluated in a good level. The bandwidth uh, selected for the design are proper, properly selected for practical applications. Uh, to the second, scientific novelty of the results. All results are new in the gold electron bolometer sections. The design have been done in order to optimize as well as increase the flexibility and the use, use of this type of bolometer. In the terahertz pulse, pulse generation section, a new thermocouple structure is presented. In plasmonic sections, uh, 12 field and enhancement of the local electric fields is achieved in plasmonic crystals in uh, silicium silicium O2 argentum silicium O2 O2 layered structure with defects in transitional translational symmetry and also two types of uh, dual band tunable graphene based plasmodic absorber is proposed which shows new results to detection. Uh, next, uh, theoretical and practical importance of the dissertation. Theoretical and practical importance are done co correctly and occur uh, ac accurately and the results are presented in a an excellent and desirable level, both of terms of design and measurements. The first, are the main results of the dissertation adequately represented in uh, the publications in the reference journals according to regulations? Yes, all the results are publication and represented in Q1 and Q2 Scopus and also Russian national and international publications in reference journals and conference. Fifth, questions and remarks according to the part uh, 4.13 of the regulations, the candidate addresses the questions and remarks formulated below during the de defense. I have not seen any problem of the results. All the results are clear, understable, uh, understable and accurate. Sixth, general evaluation of the dissertation. The PhD thesis show interesting results and all the designs are useful for practical applications. Each chapter is new design of a mathematical to detect optical and terahertz radiation, though I recommend it to a CIAN PhD degree to Berhard Byron Wand. Data and my signature. Okay. Слышно? Слышно. The evaluation of the dissertation in accordance with the regulation of the award of scientific degree of candidates and doctors of science at MIPT. One. Relevance of the dissertation topic. The dissertation is about development of meta materials which can work as optical and terahertz detectors. Several detectors have been successfully designed in three parts. Bolometers, the ID array of thermocouples, and plasmonic prop. In the first part, the CEBS have been optimized. In the second part, a hybrid transmission line B array of thermocouples has been arranged to generate terahertz pulses. 
in the third part, several designs of plasmonic detection have been presented. Second, scientific novelty of the result. In all three parts of the dissertation, novelty of the results can be observed. Increasing the dynamic range, increasing bandwidth to achieve multi-octave bandwidth, dial mode and dial band detection for radio astronomy application are novelty of the first part of this work. Presenting a new concept of generation terahertz pulses by composite RL handed TL showed new results for the second part of this work. And at the third part, one plasmonic structure for Raman spectroscopy application and two plasmonic for dial band absorbers with ability tuning each peak separately are new design. Three, theoretical and practical importance of the dissertation. Theoretical and practical in the dissertation is quite satisfactory so that it can provide occurrence results for fabrication in scientific and industrial issue. The CEBS is this dissertation can be installed on telescope for Olympo mission. They are numerically designed by CST for balloon telescopes and some of them are fabricated and measured. ID array of thermocapsule is designed by CST and can be useful for generation terahertz radiation. The age states plasmonic nano design based on topological photonic states can be employed for incre increasing personal factor and quantum dose. The multifunctional tunable dial band plasmonic absorber can be used in several applications including rotation detection, electro-optic modulation and spectral selective tunable absorption. The dial band tunable plasmonic absorber using concentric ring resonator and has practical applications such as photodetector or multispectral tunable reflector. 4. Other main results of the dissertation adequately represented in the publication in referred journals according to the regulation. Yes, all the results have been published in international reference for journal Q1, Q2, Scopus and also national journals. 5. Conventions and remarks according to the part 4.15 of the regulation, the candidate addresses the questions and remarkable formulated below during the reference. Except for a new typing problems, no serious and specific problems have been seen. General evaluation of the dissertation. The PhD thesis corresponding to the all requirements and criteria for PhD of Technical science and specialty 01.04.04 physical electronics. Thus, Behron Behrand deserved PhD degree is technical science. Date 04.19.2020 года. Моя сигнатура. That's all. Dear colleagues, uh, I would like to agree with the previous speakers. Uh, the PhD in tennis uh, uh, seems to be very interesting. Different structures are presented uh, uh, for cold electron bolometers, etc. Each design has been optimized for different applications of the SEP uh, and uh, FSS technique. Uh, for 
example, I should mention uh, uh, 2D array of cold electron bolometers, which absorbs from 50 to 80 percent of the incident terahertz power. Uh, this uh, 2D array was designed by Behrog. A dual band uh, set with two local frequencies uh, was investigated. Another type of wide band uh, to the array of self sensitive to both polarizations of the incoming optical signal was designed. Uh, uh, theoretical and practical results of the dissertation are important for radio astronomy, material sciences, and the development of photonic technologies. Uh, the results uh, of this dissertation have been published. Into Q1, 1, Q2, two international scopes and five national Russian publications. Uh, and I have uh, one uh, very simple remark. In Table 1.1, a comparison is briefly made among the types of cryogenic detectors. Uh, they could be compared more accurately and with more details in separate sub chapter uh, as for me. But uh, in conclusion, uh, I like to mention that the results are novel and the dissertation satisfies all requirements for speciality physical electronics. The dissertation is based uh, and based on this dissertation and its results and publications. Uh, Behrov Beravan deserves PhD degree in the mention of speciality. Thank you. Thank you. I'm done. Okay. Thank you. Salavyov Igor Igorevich. Yes, dear colleagues, my uh, review of uh, dissertation is as follows. Behrog dissertation presents the metamaterials which work as optical detectors for different applications in optical and terahertz frequency ranges. Their designs are classified by categories in several chapters. The first detector is a cold electron bolometer with frequency selective surface, which has been studied in various types. Composite right left handed transmission line arranged in a thermocouple is another detector which has been designed for frequency selective laser detection. The last three detectors are plasmonic structures designed for Raman spectroscopy and other applications. The novelty of the result is as follows. Cold electron bolometers characterized by uh, absorption of about 50 to 80 percent of the incident terahertz power have been optimized on the basis of frequency selective surface to increase the bandwidth of absorption. They are capable of operation in two modes and dual band. Hybrid uh, transmission line for generating of terahertz radiation is a new concept. The proposed three plasmonic structures are new designs as well. Uh, I should mention that theoretical and uh, practical parts of dissertation are mainly each other. The importance of the obtained results comes from the possibility of their practical applications, to my point of view. The main results of the dissertation are adequately represented in the reference journals. And uh, I have a question. Uh, the available period power level generated by hybrid transmission line is not estimated in the thesis. Uh, and this is of interest for justification of practical applicability of the device. So it will be nice to hear this estimation if it's possible. And uh, I should comment that the style of writing should be improved, but it is not a serious uh, issue. So after all, I think that Bihrov Ben Radwan demonstrated his skills as a major researcher in the field of physical electronics. And I consider him worthy to obtain the PhD degree in uh, specialty physical electronics. That's all. Thank you for attention. Thank you. Behron, your answer is for question. Uh, uh, I didn't hear uh, you, you, you well, uh, Professor. I, did, I didn't hear the question well. I didn't hear this well. The power, the power yes. the, uh, the estimation of the power is uh, theoretically. I show you uh, if you want us on a slide. I can show you. I made uh, shown that is uh, 
zero point seventy uh, uh, pico watt. If uh, I show you, the, you want to see the slide. Also, the we show the equation for thermal co microwatt. We I show you for uh, mm, for example sixty four number of thermal cobalt, we can estimate uh, 0 0.7 microwatt. But uh, the equation also is, uh, I wrote it here also in the paper, uh, it's explained very well, also, which we published. Uh, if you want, I can explain also this equation. Uh, uh, you know the thermal couple, each thermal couple is like uh, uh, known ideal EMF source. When we uh, connect this uh, uh, thermocouples RI, uh, from one side uh, we shorted it, and from another side we connected it to uh, 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 strips uh, or transmission to uh, measure, uh, we have uh, internal uh, resistance for thermocouple. And also another one, Z0, as you see here, is for the another side when we have transmission or a microchip. Uh, based on this equation, uh, as so we know the electric lens of transmission line must be less than nine degree, uh, 90 degree. And uh, so we, uh, based on this uh, theoretical, we, um, and dimensions of each uh, strips of thermocouples. We uh, can calculate uh, the power of uh, uh, the power of thermocouple array. Uh, one moment. Uh, we should wait a little uh, for your report. It's about five minutes uh, more. Uh, your review. No, it, it's absolutely necessary to read it. Uh, uh, let's wait uh, some minutes. Uh, Trankov uh, will bring you here. So, uh, and now, I, I would like to address to all uh, members of dissertation. Uh, I don't know the high English. Uh, let me in Russian. Uh, касательно голосования, uh, дистанционно присутствующие члены диссертационного совета uh, могут пройти такую процедуру. Я сейчас вам дам свой номер телефона. Вы мне в виде смс отправите свою фамилию, да или нет. Согласен, не согласен. По когда у нас будет тайное голосование. В таком случае я запол... на основании этой смс заполню ваш бюллетень, никому не покажу, я опущу его в урну. Это почти что тайное. Вот, запишите телефон. 8903. восемь девять ноль три пять ноль шесть восемь шесть пять три Уже посылать сообщение или нет? Нет, нет, нет. Сейчас мы еще один отзыв не зачитали. Сейчас пока его не принесут, мы или делаем дискуссию вот сейчас, или делаем перерыв минут на 10. Потому что обязательно следующий этап надо зачитать отзыв. Мы отзывы не Сергей Вячеславович, вы просто нас держите. Так, now we have discussion. Ваша оценка времени. Насколько мне делают перерыв защиты? 15 минут, прошу. Через 15 минут будет ваш текст. Я просто думаю, есть вариант, может быть, без текста скажете, по-русски, не, не скажете. Так можно и не делать, потому что 
Пять человек есть? Нет, нет. Не, председатель надо, надо. должен Обязан. быть всегда. Тогда все. Тогда лучше мы сделаем 15 минут интервал. Пока дискуссии. Вот. Или дискуссия, но нет, дискуссия нет. это... Вот я, я объявил ребятам. Хорошо, давайте. Так. Какие вопросы, предложения? Вот такой вопрос, а нет ли коллег, которые работали вот с Бихроком, может быть, кто-то что-то еще выскажет по поводу работы? Уважаемые коллеги, у нас присутствует здесь из коллег только научный руководитель, Scientific Advisor. Вряд ли его можно признать коллеги. This is advisor, часто. Не, ну, а на очереди тоже у вас высказался? Выскажешь? Нет. Нет, но как бы в дискуссии можно еще раз сказать, ну, Дима типа Павлович, усилить. Павлович, а ваш отзыв, что он, он должен, что а. Его не распечатали, что ли? Конечно. Все, я здесь подписал. Куда, иди куда-то дели. Я больше собой Поясняю. Все бумаги у Токунова остались у Токунова. Я распечатал только то, что мне надо выступать. Надеюсь, что все... Вот вы принесли свой договор? Да. А вот что же он не принес? Ну, самолеты только что. Ну, сейчас 10 минут и... of the content of the dissertation. The what the be rents dissertation is developing to the develop of meta material for detection at optics and target question. It's the first step the array of plasma uh, antennas of target frequency range with the integrated cold resolution of bolometers based on the uh, sinus uh, nanostructures, nanostructures for radio astronomy research and developed and optimization. And the uh, second step, the left-right handed transmission line Consistent of one D array and thermocopter for microwave and terahertz radiation under excitation by femtoseconds optical pulse present. And in the third steps, local enhancement for electric field in plasmonic crystals associated. Так, associated with existence and topology photonics echo states around the brick periodic symmetry is studied. And in the four sports steps, uh, two dual band tunable <coughs> graphene base, plasmonic absorption as proposed. And cold electron bolometer designs are theoretical and experimentally fully used and executed for installation of balloon annals such as Olympo for study at radio astronomy. Composite right-left handed transmission Live driving uh, by thermocouples is used for radio-optical applications, which is uh, similar by uh, 
CST so five and the results show the suitable of structure for fabrication. The plasmonic ergo more design be useful in various applications such as medical grand sensor Roman spectrometry etc. The proposal to enable dual band plasmonic at all can be used in several applications include magneto optic modification uh, <coughs> radiation detection, electron optic modification, external cell tunable absorption. Uh, <coughs> question. Uh, <coughs> the dissertation includes some the, of the manuscript and some abbreviatures are skipped by the don't critical one. I don't have any additional remark. Uh, in the in the dissertation, uh, <coughs> Bekov address uh, in interesting and important for task for optical and target detection. In the patient, where done and, uh, at the high level and numerical and experimental. Uh, thus, the after of the dissertation. Uh, Dishov the PD degree, a technical science in a specifical zero one, zero four, zero four, physical electronics. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, about grammatically and uh, um, typing uh, mistakes, uh, yes, um, I'm uh, agree because. Uh, uh, it was different uh, uh, structure and uh, it was a long job uh, for that uh, may of course like, like all the books uh, when we read it uh, at the end for new editation uh, we and the authors can edit it and uh, of course maybe there is some uh, small mistake thumping grammatical which uh, in new editation, uh, all the books only, not thesis, uh, we can correct it in the future. And thank you for uh, to consider and it is your comments. Thank you very thank much. You. Uh, have you anybody uh, some question? No. Yes. Uh, uh, is the total discussion and uh, anybody must be say, say some deaths about this situation? Well, I, I, I consider the uh, dissertation useful and the very well. Thank you. No equation means only one. Everything is very clear. <laughs> so let's press it further. If, if uh, not, not uh, any, uh, your uh, final jokes. Okay, okay. Uh, first, thank you, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, for introducing uh, very young uh, scientists and really uh, measured and uh, experienced. My supervisor, uh, always, always uh, available, um, night in the travels and uh, home day any any hour he uh, answered me he has answered me and uh, also after phd he will be my supervisor and it's uh, dr alexander sobolov it was my best chance because i learned a lot and really i owe him 
He is very experienced, and uh, I don't know how I can say thank you to uh, learn many things. Really, thank you, and thanks MIPT to introduce me a really good uh, supervisor. And uh, also, I have to say thank you to Professor Cosmin. Also, he really uh, and actually Dr. Michael Tarasso for experimental part. Sometimes he helped us, but uh, uh, my. Uh, uh, main thanks is for my supervisor and uh, again thank you uh, this opportunity uh, from Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology which uh, by this opportunity I'll learn a lot. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you uh, for referees to spend the time to uh, your, for your comments. It's really helped me for my future job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we must return Calculation Commission. Yes. Commission on this. On the Commission. Да. Никипелов, Шершин, Иванов. No possibility. So. Так. And uh, now we start. Uh, как голосование там? Голосование, короче. Так. Для Иванов. Состав комиссии. Шесть Иван, хорошо. Да. Так, общее количество бюллетеней шесть, да? Роздано 6, uh -huh. не роздано 0, за 6, 0, 0, 0. Председатель счетной комиссии у нас вы, естественно. Да, а, вы, я хорошо. Я. Ну а мы как на отдельном листочке члены комиссии. <свят> ну потом, ну можем подписать ниже. <свят> да, да, <свят> давайте <свят> так, это <свят> разумнее будет. Нелогично. Вот так. Еще, а, раз, еще раз, да, так разумнее. Ну, да. Так, еще, пожалуйста. А, вот это. Вот такого. Так, все, можно объявлять результат. И надо зачитать э, заключение. Вот это, да. Зачем это зачитывать? Просто или мы принимаем? Мы его принимаем. Сначала мы должны сейчас проголосовать с учетом дистанционников э, за протокол счетной комиссии. Заключение мы читать. Вот за этот протокол. Вот за это, вот это протокол голосования. Вот написано. Присутствовало 6 членов диссовета, председатель, члены. На основании тайного голосования членов диссовета за и так далее присвоить Белхропу ученую степень. То есть сначала мы сейчас голосуем, утверждаем протокол голосования. Вот то, что вы держите, да, вы читаете. А потом читает вот председатель. Вот это. Да. А это все полностью читать надо? Нет. 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 Ну, как хотите. Нет, ну это не пока не считается. Да. Так, все, как все приглашает. Сейчас кто там болтается, кто у нас. Сейчас Бу дайте я приглашу. Ну, все по-русски это обычно. Это наши документы уже, это по-русски все идет, да. да. А, вы переводите, пожалуйста, мы сейчас будем уже русские документы. Sit down, please. Не, ну надо, чтобы Александр Сергеевич микрофон был. А, да, 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 да. Все правильно. Для перевода. Угу. Уважаемые коллеги, разрешите зачитать протокол счетной комиссии. Угу. Коллекс, please let me read. 
протоколов. А, а, по голосованию, а, по результатам рассмотрения работы Беранванда Бехроха, диссертации разработка массивов оптических традиционных детекторов на основе метаматериалов. Defense of uh, Bechrof Baron Van dissertation entitled uh, Devel Development of uh, uh, Metamaterial Based uh, Detectors and, and so on. Yeah, the title. Состав счетной комиссии Шешин, Евгений Павлович, Иванов, Виктор Владимирович, Никипелов, Вячеслав Михайлович. The counting committee. Консистенция uh, Шешин Евгений Павлович, Иванов Виктор Владимирович, uh, Никипелов uh, Вячеслав Михайлович. Uh, комиссия избрала председателем uh, счетной комиссии Иванова, и, который докладывает результаты. Uh, the, the head of the counting Общее количество бюллетеней роздано 6, не роздано, не розданных нет. The total number of voting bulletins uh, is 6. Uh, all bulletins are uh, given to the members. Uh, результаты голосования членов диссертационного совета по при вопросу присуждения ученой степени. За подано 6 голосов, против 0, воздержался 0. Недействительных бюллетеней нет. The voting results on uh, granting the degree of candidate of PhD are the following. Uh, uh, agree 6, uh, disagree 0, and non-valid The number of non-valid bulletins is zero. Спасибо. Thank you. Теперь мы имеем протокол о присуждении степени. У нас должно быть голосование по бюллетеням. Кто за? Утверждение. Утверждение. За. Гафонов за. Все. Единогласно. Значит, поздравляем. Congratulations. You are granted the PhD degree. Перед камерой, перед камерой. Вот здесь. Нет. А перед камерой, извиняюсь. Да. Поздравляю. Congratulations. Так, и последний вопрос о заключении диссертационного совета. Передайте, пожалуйста. А, что, что? Заключение диссертационного совета? The final decision. Yeah. Of ah, ah, the final decision is... Uh, uh, вот. Я предлагаю uh, взять uh, его за основу и uh, научному руководителю, если нужно будет доработать, тем более он сейчас только в русском варианте, на английском. Хорошо. Но тем не менее, Нет, давайте мы подпишем, чтобы потом ученому да. руководить. Вот вы подпишите вот эти два экземпляра. Хорошо. Заключение всем разослано. Ну, тем более, значит. Есть, надо спросить, есть ли у коллег да. есть, есть, у вас, так, есть, есть у вас замечания по э, заключению? Нет. Замечание. Все. Хорошо. Тогда мы уберем за основу. А уже руководитель вместе с секретарем потом мы его подрихтует как надо. Конечно, конечно. Так, и вот это вот все. Да, это у меня. Все, спасибо. Так. Спасибо, всего хорошего. Все, все, господа, защита у нас закончилась, прошла прекрасно, организовано. Спасибо вам всем. Ждем вас в следующем совете.